I'm gonna tell you one thing to look for that will save you thousands of dollars on your next new or used car. If you don't know, my name's Tommy. I've been in the car industry for most of my adult life. Now I negotiate car deals for a living, but enough about me, I wanna get into the secret. If you've watched me before, you know not only do I give you the answer, but I give you the why. So if you're one of those impatient people that cannot wait to hear the why, I completely understand, but I promise you it's gonna help you with your negotiations. On the bottom of the TikTok, there is a scroll bar. Go to the last 30 seconds, you're gonna get the answer. But I wanna get into the why because I think it's important so you can understand why why this works. Now let's talk about this secret. And it's actually a little bit more than you think. It's all to do with vehicle age. And no, not how old the car is, but how long the car has been on the dealership's lot. Now you were taught over and over if a car sits on a car lot for a long time, you can get a better deal. But A, why is that case? And how do you utilize that information to get a better deal? So there's a few reasons why vehicle age is so important. If we're talking on the dealership level, most people don't understand there's a thing called lot rent, which is how much it costs for a car to sit on the lot. Not only that, but there's a thing called depreciation, especially in today's market, as cars depreciate, the longer a dealership has, the more risky it is to have them. A dealership's goal is to turn a car within, you know, my dealership's goal was seven days. It was extremely aggressive, but most would say if a car has been there over 30 days, it's been way too long. So that means you should just wait a really long time to buy your next car, right? Eh, not necessarily. The reason being is I also have a rule when I'm looking at cars that I don't look at cars above 120 days. And the reason being is I do almost all my shopping online and over the phone. When I'm doing that, I ask for videos and I do everything but to weed out bad apples. If a car has been sitting, in, especially in today's market, for over 120 days, there is something that I'm missing. The sweet spot for me is 30 to 110 days, roughly. I really like 30 to 90 days. 30 days is when dealerships start to panic and start to discount. And if you get closer to 90, dealerships are willing to lose money on used cars just to get them off the lot. And the reason being, especially if there's a trade, that's fresh inventory. When people are looking at a dealership's website over and over and seeing the same cars, that's a red flag to consumers. But if you're able to turn that car that maybe even lose a little bit money on, but get a fresh trade, dealerships are willing to do that. So no trades are very valuable on old dealership lot cars. So where do you find this information and how do you use it? So first off, where to find it? Carfax has this 95% of dealerships website, it's free. Just go onto the Carfax, bada boom, bada bang, look for the day offered for sale and you've got how old the car is. Now, how to leverage this information? The first thing you have to understand is that dealerships naturally are going to decrease the price over time. It's because they don't wanna have the car on the lot. So by lowering the price, they're naturally going to start trying to sell it. Now that all being said, it is extremely important we understand when negotiating with these dealerships, the best way to leverage this information is just to tell them. As simple as that, when I'm negotiating this car deal and they're saying this is as far as they got, I'll just tell them straight up, guys, you've had this car in your lot for 90 days. I know you don't want it anymore. Let's find a deal. These cars sometimes are discounted, you know, already three or $4,000. So the dealership is going to try to hold hard at that price. I just tell them how it is. You know, you know what? This car's been on a while. Let's make a deal. You know, what if we could get down another 2,000, maybe another 500, another 1,000, whatever that price is, I always try to push them. And again, if you push these dealerships, they're gonna be more than willing to make a deal, especially when there's other cars in the lot. I talk about it all the time. I talk about using competition and saying, hey guys, I'm looking at six of these cars. I don't need to buy this one. I am finding prices more competitive and cars that haven't been on the lot in 90 days. And honestly, there might be something wrong with your car. I don't know, but I'm willing to take a print chance if you're willing to give me this deal. I promise you this more, works more times than you think. When you're just straight up with a dealership and you know that their secret is how long they've had the car, they're more than willing to give a discount. Now, again, if a car has been over 120 days, I speak about it, normally there's a red flag. Normally there's something that somebody's missed because in this market, cars go pretty fast. And again, if a car is sitting there that long, I just try to avoid it. It's just personal preference. I'm more than willing to pay a little bit more. I might get a better discount on that car, but I'm more than willing to pay more just to make sure I have a quality car. That's just my opinion. That's what I tell my clients. But if my client wants to go for a 160 day car, by all means, I'll go for it. But this is just my advice. Uh, take it or leave it. If you guys want more advice than this, I want you to like, follow, subscribe, but thanks and have a great day.